Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this solo gorilla guide. Welcome, how are you guys doing today? So for the gear that I will be using, I'll be discussing every item piece that I'll be taking. Of course, Slayer Helm on task. I would recommend the Nidus not for the strength and prayer bonus off task. Range Cape, of course, to pick up your darts that you are using or an Avas accumulator if you are not 99 range. I'm taking an Amulet of Torture when I'm meleeing. I'm taking a Necklace of Anguish when I'm using the Blowpipe. I take the Episode Bludgeon for a for, for several reasons. Uh, one, Bludgeon is better than Whip with Primordial Boots because it has one less switch. But exactly the same max hit from level 99 strength all the way up to level 118. Except at level 114. Primordial Boots give two extra max hits on a few levels. And therefore better than Bikishians. Repot at 109. So if your stats are going from 110 to 109. Because if you would go to 108 you will lose two max hit with melee. And you would also lose a hit with range at that time. I would just suggest to repot when your stats go to 109. Also use your range pot at the same time. So your potions will be going at exactly the same speed. Now I also have a Serdom and Gotted in my inventory. Very useful because this will be your main healing. A uh, rune pouch with elks in them because you will be getting a lot of rune items to elk. For the rest of the gear I use Blessed Dehydes. It has exactly the same range bonus. Accuracy bonus as Carol's. It doesn't degrade and it gives me plus one prayer which is very nice. I don't take Varric's skirt or whatever for extra defense. Because I'm not relying on my defense. I'm relying on my skill of prey flicking. So I don't take any damage there. So I think this is the best setup because it will just give a lot of accuracy for your blowpipe. And you are going to need that accuracy to be successful with your blowpipe there. Now for the inventory itself, if you are skilled at killing gorillas, you can take two super Kuma pots and two range pots. And then 12 prayer pots and 7 sharks. If you are a new learner to this method, I would suggest you to bring half of the prayer pots and only one range pot and one super combo pot and go from there learn how to kill the gorillas and then take more prayer pots and more super combo pots and range pots because you will have to learn this method of course they are rather easy to learn but you still have to learn it so we all know how to get to the gorillas but we do have a solo area if you do not know that you don't have to kill the gorillas uh in the multi-zone area so i'll be showing how to get there it's very easy to find i <laughs> Some people keep asking me where it is, so I will show it so you don't have to um, ask where to go. You can actually see it on the minimap directly when I go into the cave. You can directly see just a little bit north of this where you can see those uh, yellow dots. You can just click right there and you will walk there. Pretty easy to find. There's this weird looking ladder over here that will get you towards the area. So there are several things about gorillas that we need to know before we can really know how to kill them uh they attack with three different styles and they also protect prayers against everything i just got extremely owned already but that's okay so from this moment on you're gonna keep track of two things one uh if you have hit 50 damage on the gorilla he will switch his prayer and you will have to switch your gear of course and also switch your prayers and after he has hit three zeros on your protect prayer he will switch his attack now make sure that this is not uh just the moment he launches attack but also when his attack actually hits the player. Um, otherwise he might not switch. Which is rather annoying. So you have to count his hits. And now it's going to be melee. So you just count the melee hits. One hit. And there it comes his second hit. And then there will be his third hit coming in. And from that moment on he will switch to either magic or range. Which you do not know. So that's the only moment you're actually going to get hit. So you either switch to magic or range. I always choose magic. And if he ranges I'm going to have to switch to mage. So from this moment on you also, well, in the next heal you just count his hits, so that was the second mage hit. Always avoid the rocks falling on you, they hit one third of your hit points. Now he's going to switch again, what I do, I always step away. If you step away, he's either going to range you and he's going to stand still so he can protect range. Or he's going to follow you, or walk towards you, and you know he's going to use melee, so you can quickly flick over to melee. After melee, as I said, you don't know whether he's going to use range or mage, so right here I couldn't that now he has hit one time you're just going to keep counting so that was his second hit and that's his third hit and now you see me walk away again and now he's going to use magic because he didn't walk towards me really easy kill now there are some moments where you are either not counting correctly or you're just flicking too early and you just get hit the third time he was supposed to hit a zero and that's when it's get weird 
Sometimes he just does one more attack, one more zero, and he switches his attacks. Sometimes he just doesn't care, and he just restarts his, his cycle of three hits. This is really, an, really confusing, because he will not count that first zero that, you just, that, that he just did, because you just flicked on your prayer. So he will actually hit four times. It's a bit weird, so sometimes I just wait with one prayer until he actually switches. Uh, it is something you just have to get used to. But yeah, that's how you do it. Keep those two rules in mind. Don't get hit a lot at all. Repot at 109. And use your Serdom and Gotthard specials if you need health. Pick up the loot. Elk, the loot that you get. And make bank, I would say. Everybody, have a great, great time here at the Gorillas. And good luck on Zenite Shards.